Connor, I hadn't heard from you, and, I mean, how stupid is it that a gal's got to wait for a guy's call anyway, right? We're all equal, right? Um, more women are accepted into law school now than men. Call me. He's totally gonna call. I'll call you right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -huh. it's happened to the best of us. You want him to love you, you think you're in love, and then it turns out that he's just not that into you. Well, our relationship coach, Julie Jeske, is here today with some tips and do's and don'ts in a relationship. So, welcome, Julie. Thank you. We usually talk about when you're here, kind of, you know, how to make things last or how to spice yeah. things up. And, for the long-term long relationship. Right. What about mm -hmm. new relationships? Yeah. And it's interesting because in long-term relationships, we often think of the beginning as fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, that's when we were giddy well, usually and we is. had sex yeah. all the time and it was like <laughs> romantic Anxiety in the days and like right. everything was great. But it's also a really fragile time mm -hmm. because it is that beginning and you mm -hmm. really don't know what to expect and you don't know how people are going to respond when you share certain information. So you do have to be a little careful. There are definitely some things you should avoid mm -hmm. in and, the and beginning. So what are those things to avoid? We, yeah. we just saw that clip from that yeah. movie right. that might where, be one. you yeah. know, maybe calling and saying yeah. weird things on their voicemail could right. be one. And getting nervous and out. then just talking more and more and more and more. Yeah. Um, don't compare your new guy to your ex. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. a totally different person. You have no idea how they're going to behave. And sometimes it's like we expect to be treated a certain way, and then we blow it because this new person is totally different than the last person oh my was. Gosh, I find that um, in the past, they, the other people will start talking about who they dated right away. Right. Like, you know, especially so, from the dating sites. Yeah. So, who did you date? Hello, I haven't even met right. you yet. Mm -hmm. And then I would say the next one is don't overshare. You know, if you mm -hmm. need to talk about how horrible your last partner was, how messed up your childhood was, how much crazy sex you've had. Get a therapist mm -hmm. and save the, you know, the, the, when you're in a new relationship, it's like start slowly. Eventually, mm -hmm. you will talk about mm -hmm. all of this. Do stuff. people just do that out of nerves? Like sometimes, I get verbal yeah. diarrhea sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or they're yeah. like, I just yeah. want to put it all out there and see if this person yeah. will accept me. Mm -hmm. And you can find out if they'll accept me. Oh, accept yeah, you find you. out real quick. Yeah, but it's like, do you really need to just like dump all your stuff yeah. before they get to see like how funny you are and how um, calm you are and just all of these other great characteristics that you have? Mm -hmm. Don't um, ditch all your friends and your family and only focus on this new person mm -hmm. because that's totally smothering to the new person, mm -hmm. right? To get all of your energy. Mm -hmm. And um, if something doesn't work out, you've totally ditched the people who will be there to support you when you need it most. Mm -hmm. So like any, best, any good relationship, there's a balance of time together and time apart. So in the beginning, you want to make sure you're doing that as well. well I've heard you talk about labels. Yeah, what don't do use labels. In the beginning, people um, want to know what, what, what are we? Mm -hmm. What does this mean, right? And it doesn't really give you any good information. You know, mm -hmm. do you feel more secure if you're a girlfriend or will you only see, feel secure if you're a fiance or a wife, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, just enjoy where you are. Right, Take like, it slow. Right, whatever it is, just yeah. let it be. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter if it matches what someone else is doing. Just be in the present. Mm -hmm. okay. At some point, though, I would think it would be, hey. you have time to talk about that yeah. stuff. Later. But do you need to know right in the beginning? No. Well, Later maybe, you're going to have maybe. to know about are we getting married? Are we having kids? I mean there will be right. time for labels. Sure. But in the beginning? Sure. I think if that happens with women. Maybe they want a label because mm -hmm. if they're spe especially going to be intimate with somebody yeah. they want to know oh is this okay? Right. Or am I going to get burned? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so maybe there's a different way to have a conversation of like you know is this okay or am I going to get burned rather than like what do we mean because if I know what we mean then I'll know how to behave okay. you okay, know no, that makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. okay what about do's so the biggest do the overarching do is to be yourself and that parallel I mean that's kind of the opposite of some other don't don'ts that I might have said like don't um, pretend to be someone you're not you know mm -hmm. don't um, don't let go of who you are and your boundaries like mm -hmm. do know what's okay for you and what's not okay for you mm -hmm. do know if things are moving too quickly for you do know if this is not the right person and then walk away if it's mm -hmm. not the right person. No, no by mm -hmm. that, because I knew, I knew a girl who was not into rock climbing at all, mm -hmm. but then she started dating the guy that was, and yeah. totally, oh, I'm all about rock climbing, I'm the right. outdoorsy type. Um, is that kind of what you yeah, mean by because that? because then what happens 10 years from now yeah. and then she's finally like, I hate mm -hmm. rock. And you and your rock climbing, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, why pretend you're someone you're not? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe you'll get the guy, but then who are you in the relationship? You're not yourself anymore. 
hold out for someone who will love you even though you're lazy on a Saturday morning rather than climbing Lazy rocks. every yeah. day. Like yeah. me. <laughs> All right, so you've got a really great event coming up. So yeah. tell everybody about that. Okay. So it's interesting we're talking about dating dues because next week I'm participating in an event called um, It's Not Me, It's You. Mm -hmm. Tales from the Dark Side of Dating. And it's a fundraiser for Planned Parenthood and there are um, eight different people who are going to be sharing dating horror stories from our past. Mm -hmm. So if you're ready to stop listening to me talk about how to be in a great relationship and hear some of the mistakes that oh, maybe I made. Some other people's yeah. mistakes. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Some of my horrible dating don'ts, then yeah. you'll come out to the back but end. look at how, how your life turned out right. and how adorable your husband <laughs> is. So there's <laughs> hope for us all. Yeah. There's hope for us all. So, question, more information, go to juliejeske.com or our website, coinstudio6.com, and we'll be right back.